Y'all usually see me with a full face of makeup on this channel, but today I'm actually reviewing the Creme Shop and Sailor Moon collaboration of face care items. We just heard about this announcement just a few days before it actually released online as well as in stores. This is an Ulta collaboration with the Creme Shop, which is a Korean skincare brand. So you can find these items in the Ulta store as well as the cremeshop.com and ulta.com. Now I did order the entire collection online just in case I wasn't able to find these items in store, so I will have extras, but today I'll show you what I got in the store. If you're interested in ordering these for yourself, then definitely check out the links down below. I will link to all of these products down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you like collaborative reviews like this one. So there are seven different items in this collaboration, and that includes this really cute headband. This is the lovely Luna headband. The headband is made out of polyester fiber and rubber latex. You can wash it. It says our plush spa headband should be gently washed by hand with soap and water. Air dry only should be washed frequently. Wash your face without washing your hair. A super soft plush headband that holds your hair back and keeps it in place. Teddy bear texture provides maximum comfort, ideal for home or spa use. This is a 3D Teddy headband, plushy spa headband from the Creme Shop. I really like the design of this casing. I think it is super, super cute, and I'm glad that I ordered another one online so I can keep one in the packaging for my collection room. Ooh, ooh, it is plushy. This is very soft, super soft, super plush. I love the embroidery moon. Oh my God, oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, this thing is adorable and it fits my adult size head, which is really nice. I really like the elastic on this thing. I think it feels lovely and it is very, very soft to the touch and it's big enough for my adult head, which I'm very happy about. So now that I have this on right now, luckily my face is pretty clean, but I think I have a little blemish popping up up there. So I'm gonna try this on my little blemish. These are blemish patches. Aren't they cute? 21 patches come in a bag. I did get a couple of these because I'm gonna go through them really fast. I don't know why, but I have adult acne. These are hydrocolloid blemish patches and they are called Kawaii Love Sailor Moon the Cream Shop blemish patches. Infused with salicylic acid, they are supposed to help absorb excess oil, help brighten the appearance of dark spots, and conceal blemishes. After you cleanse, apply the sticker with the tacky side down onto your blemish. Don't apply any skin treatments or moisturizers between the patch and your skin, and for best results, wear for six hours or overnight. Now, I'm just going to show you what these look like on my skin so you can get an idea of how they look, but I love blemish patches. I wish that these existed when I was a young teenager because these would have saved me from a lot of bullies when I was in high school. I wear different branded blemish patches all the time. I haven't tried the Creme Shop ones yet and I don't have like a big enough zit to try these on right now, but I still wanna put them on and just kind of see what they feel like. I will say shout out to the packaging. I love that we have this really cute picture of a vintage 1990s Sailor Moon. It's not like a crystal cosmos or eternal version of Sailor Moon. It is a classic one and I really appreciate that. And they also have the nice English logo at the top. This is a resealable bag and I really appreciate that too. Oh, check out those patches. I love that we have a bunch of different types. We have the cute little brooch here. We have the bow. Really pretty crystal heart. That's almost like a Zelda heart. I kind of love it. And then we have these large Luna ones up here, which these will probably be best for brightening dark spots, but I don't have a lot of dark spots on my skin. Maybe one right here. So it'll be tough to tell. And it looks like to use one, I'm going to use the brooch. There's a little triangle at the bottom that's cut out to make it a little bit easier to peel these up. Grab your preferred size. Ooh, these are thicker than the ones I currently use. And then you take your blemish patch and you stick it on your blemish. So I'm going to put a little brooch right there at the top of my skin. Obviously these are not skin color depending on your tone so it would be really hard to cover these up with a little bit of makeup over them or anything like that um, which I generally don't do anyway. I usually just wear these overnight to try them out but once you put it on your skin it feels fine. I, ca I can't feel it at all. It's not very noticeable and it's small enough that it should be something that's really easy to sleep with. Well, I kind of want to put on the little Luna one too, because it's so big and cute. I'll put this on my like darker complexion on my skin. There we go. I have a little Luna sticker. How's it look? <laughs> 
It's so cute. Okay, I kind of love these stickers. They're so adorable. <laughs> I know that they're made for like blemish concealing, but like if I was going for like a very sticker aesthetic vibe on my skin, I would totally put one of these on and just wear it out. Why not? <laughs> so after wearing them on your clean skin overnight, you can just rip those little suckers off and they should be able to help with some of those blemishes that you might have on your skin. They do help me a lot, especially with adult acne. So I love those things. And I'm really happy that we have Sailor Moon themed ones now. Next, we have a couple of face masks. Here's the face masks. There are two different themed face masks. So you have your choice. You can get both or get one or the other. Which one should I wear? Or should I take them both out and show you both of them? So we have the Guardian Charm Printed Essence Sheet Mask with vitamin C and niacinamide for radiant clear glow, made in Korea, cruelty free, love that. We also have the Pure Destiny Sailor Moon Sheet Mask, which is the Printed Essence Sheet Mask, vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, I can't say any of those words right, for radiant plump skin also made in Korea, one sheet mask. So each of these are disposable. You use them once and then you toss them. They are pretty inexpensive, which is good. I do wish that we got some reusable items like a full thing of face moisturizer or face cleanser. Maybe we would in a future collaboration. That would be awesome. But for now we have these one-time use items. So I will take them both out. Why not? For each of these sheet masks, it says that it is a hydrating boost for a dewy pure glow. It's a 15 minute at home facial to help clarify the appearance of spots as the essence quickly absorbs into the skin. The vitamin C in both of them is supposed to help for a radiant star-like appearance. For the Sailor Moon one, the hyaluronic acid helps retain skin's moisture, creating a plumped effect. And for the Luna one, the niacinamide helps restore hydration for a smooth complexion. Easy as one, two, three. Place your mask on your clean, dry face, enjoy for 10 to 15 minutes of me time, and then check out your new glow. No need to rinse or dry, proceed with your skin regimen. A slight tingling is normal. And they also say, if you wanna do the cooling effect, you can put these in the fridge. So I'm gonna try both of them, see how they look. I know they're super cute. I can't wait to open these. Let's try the Luna one. Oh, there is a lot. There's a lot of moisture in these. Very, very moistured. It's a Luna sheet mask. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay. This is. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I, I'm dead. This is adorable. I can die happy now. <laughs> I can look like Luna. All right, so this is very similar to a lot of the sheet masks that I've also used in my library, my library of op options and items. Oof, there is a lot of moisture in this thing. It is a very, very moisturized sheet mask. Lots of, lots of moisture. Try not to drip it everywhere in my studio. Oh my God, it's a nightmare, nightmare fuel. <laughs> this thing is very moisturized. It, it is very tall up here at the top, but it, it feels very, very nice and comfy on my skin. It feels really good. It looks like it's gonna give me a ton of moisture, which is great because I live in Colorado and we have very, very low humidity. So my skin gets very dried out very fast but this looks very nice to wear. Oh, look, I have a double crescent moon. Oh, so there's the first one. Put this in here so it doesn't uh, drip everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's a lot, that's a lot of moisture. Okay. But when you're done with one of these, you can totally just rub in the excess moisture into your skin and it feels really, really nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the second sheet mask. Also extremely moisturizing. This one, I'm guessing, looks like Sailor Moon. It does, it looks like Sailor Moon. Oh my goodness, look at this. I am thrilled about these. I don't know why, I don't wear sheet masks all the time, but I am thrilled that we have Sailor Moon sheet masks now. And they are licensed, and they are cute, and they're easily accessible for us here in the United States. I know we've had some skincare items happen in Japan previously, but man, it's nice to have some here in the States. There have been previous sheet masks, I do have them, but they were not available here in the US, at least not easily. Okay, so here's the Sailor Moon sheet mask. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, there we go. Try not to get it in my eyes. It is kind of weird to wear like a cartoon character sheet mask because obviously it's not gonna be their correct size for your face. Like it's not gonna match up correctly. But in terms of how it feels, these are really, really moisturized. And I very much appreciate that. Oh my gosh, 
good. Kind of feel like I look like a villain. Do I look like a villain to you? It's a little scary, right? I got like anime eyes underneath my regular eyes. Like that's a little, that's a little scary looking. I look terrifying. <laughs> okay, so that's the second sheet mask. <laughs> My skin definitely feels really moisturized with these. However, your mileage may vary depending on your skin type. Again, I live in a very dry climate here, a dry environment, so it's really easy for me to find something that moisturizes. I like these. They're really cute. They're super, super fun to wear. Kind of hilarious, especially if you wanna like scare somebody with one of these on, uh, but very fun. <laughs> okay, next up, we have these adorable little under eye patches. I wake up tired a lot so under eye patches are like heaven sent for me like you can see these lovely purple under eyes that i have which is genetic so i'm not going to get rid of these with concealer but having moisturizer under eye patches things that are cooling those definitely help with the purple under eyes these are the sailor moon and crim shop brightening hydrogel under eye patches with caffeine and aloe vera there are two patches in a pack so you use them once and then you toss. Wake up tired eyes in 15 minutes with caffeine and aloe vera. Directions are apply the patches to freshly cleansed under eye area. Smooth out the patches to ensure the hydrogel sheet masks good contact with skin. Relax and wear them for 15 minutes, then discard. Gently pat any remaining serum into your skin and follow up with the usual skincare regime. These are sulfate and paraben free. And there was only one theme for these, so we don't have like a Luna and Sailor Moon one. They just come with Artemis and Luna on them. I do like that the patches have this plastic covering over them to keep them smooth. Ooh, they feel really good. Oh, they fit great. They fit really good. Um, there is a little bit of plastic covering them, so make sure to peel that off before you put it on your face. These are not as full of moisture as the face masks are, so make sure when you're applying them to your skin, uh, you actually get them to stick all the way. So smooth them out like so, and then you can wear them on your face. These are cute and they are very, very cooling. They feel really comfortable to wear. I could definitely see myself reading my Kindle while wearing these for 15 minutes, assuming that I don't get interrupted by my cats or my dog. I love these. I am so thrilled about this collaboration. It's so much fun. I can be such a girly girl. So I really like these. I like the design of them. I think they're super, super cute. And once you're done with them, you simply peel them off and discard. Now I didn't wear them for the full 15 minutes. I'll have to do that a little later. Maybe this evening I can wear my other pair, but they do feel really good and it feels nice and moisturizing on my skin. I like them. How do I look? I know the purple bags will never disappear. They're genetic, but I still think it feels really nice and moisturizing. All right, we're gonna wrap this up with the very last item from this Creme Shop collaboration. However, I have to say, I am very impressed with the Creme Shop so far, and I really hope that they do another collaboration with Sailor Moon because I've never used this brand before, but so far, I'm really liking it. A lot of y'all out there, I know that you've used their previous collaborations, like the Hello Kitty one, and you have told me that you've been very, very happy with their products. So I would love to see the Creme Shop come out with more products like these. So buy their stuff so that they see the profits and then they end up coming out with a second collab with Sailor Moon. Let's just buy all the things, okay? I mean, they're inexpensive. They're very inexpensive for these non-reusable items. So I would love to get like some face cream, some moisturizer, maybe a face wash. That would be nice. I would love a face wash, like a foaming face wash. <gasps> Ooh. Can we get an Artemis headband? I know this one matches my purple hair, but I would love to get an Artemis one too. That would be adorable. All right, the last thing on the list for today are these two lip balms. So these are the Creme Sailor Moon Moisture Remedy Macaron Lip Balms. The Artemis one has hyaluronic acid and Muru Muru, made in Korea, cruelty free. The Luna one is Moisture Remedy Macaron Lip Balm. This one is also hyaluronic acid and Muru Muru. Now it does say at the top that these are limited edition. I don't know how limited that means, but they do say limited edition. So keep that in mind. I'm glad I got more than one so that I can keep one in the packaging again for my collection. I really like the packaging on these. They are super cute. This one features Artemis at the top with this little plastic. And then we have him on the macaron. And down at the bottom, we have the Sailor Moon logo. Same thing with Luna. We have Luna at the top. She's on the macaron. 
and then we have the information at the bottom. According to the packaging, for lips as soft and decadent as a freshly baked macaron, with ultra hydrating hyaluronic acid and deeply moisturizing murumuru seed butter to help repair. For external use only, effectiveness may vary per skin type. Sulfate, cruelty, and paraben free. Apparently these items were designed in Los Angeles. That's pretty cool. Oh, we have the flavors at the top. Oh, they're flavored. Ooh. So the Artemis one is peach strawberry and the Luna one is mixed berry. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Look at how adorable he is. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. This is the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna go ahead and open the Luna one. It looks adorable, I want it. Ah! Oh, I'm dead, it's so adorable. Oh, it's so cute. They look like little macros. <laughs> it's adorable. Okay, let's open them and see how they smell and what they look like. Ooh, pretty. Check out that casing color. It totally matches the lip balms. This one kind of smells like candy. That smells really good. This one's not as strong, but it smells very tasty. Ah, I just want to eat it. So I'm going to try a little bit. Luckily, my fingers are very clean at the moment. This would probably be a lot easier with a little tab, like a little tab to kind of fish it out. It's pretty hardened in there. It's not super, super soft. I don't see any color to the lip balm, so it, it, it seems like it's colorless. It seems very smooth, a little oily, but good overall. And it doesn't taste like peach strawberry, but it does feel very, very good on my skin. That's nice, very nice. Not like super, super excited about lip balms. I generally go for like lip glosses or things that give you more of a shiny texture, but in terms of just like everyday wear, something that I can wear around the house or something to apply really quick, then these would work very well. Let's try the mixed berry one. This one again smells a little bit stronger. Again, no color to this one. It's a little bit pinkish, but not much at all. It is a lot more pungent though. So if you want scentless lip balms, but you still want to collect these, uh, just keep in mind the Artemis one is not as strong. They feel really good on my skin. I really like how they feel as lip balms. Yeah, they feel really nice. Not bad at all, okay. Okay, so that is everything that we received from the creme shop. I have to say, I'm feeling pretty great right now. I feel nice and relaxed. My skin feels good. My lips feel nice and moisturized. And I feel like those blemishes are gonna go away really quick once I put on those patches tonight. Let me know what thoughts you have down below in the comments. I would love to hear if you also collected these items for your collection or if you just intend to use them for your own uses every day. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy videos like this and I'll see you next time. Bye.